Hello friends, uh, today we're gonna see oil TP versus olive. Full form for oil TP is online transaction processing. And for all app online analytical processing. Uh, so OLTP is uh, operational side and OLAP is uh, information side. So let's take a look like more detail about OLTP. Uh, so OLTP represent uh, operational related data uh, uh, activities so in this system we do have transactions uh, transitional uh, it is a fast processing uh, data is in normalized form uh, it has current data and uh, this OLTP um, also represented business processes so here we have business processes um, likewise OLT uh, OLAP uh, is informational level so let's take a look at uh, uh, system uh, so this is the informational <laughs> let me just write down all these uh, details in this box um, all app system is analytical so used for analytical um, because it is uh, denormalized so it is uh, slow on queries so, so slow queries, um, it is denormalized. Uh, the and main reason is uh, it keep the history, keeps history. <coughs> so OLTP system, uh, sorry, OLAP system is a bit, uh, for uh, use for uh, business data warehouse. Um, so. Normally, OLTP is like all transactional related. So front end, um, you have all the transaction, and then uh, in data warehousing concept, uh, you normally move data from OLTP system to OLAP uh, using ETL tools. Uh, in between, you do all the transformations. Uh, so like cleaning data, uh, doing sorting uh, as per the business requirement, all kind of uh, data massaging you do in between uh, moving from OLTP to OLAP. OLAP also called like data warehousing. So data warehouse is nothing but kind of OLAP system. Uh, so it has business. Uh, um, so it is for business um, data warehouse. So here they generate the reports. Um, so if you want to sell from data warehouse or all app system, uh, they can generate reports. For higher management to decide uh, how our com company is performing. So if you take one example uh, for OLTP and all app, let me show you one example. So in OLTP, and here's let's say all app. So let's take one example for banking. So let's say here is one bank. Uh, so when you go in any bank branch, uh, let's say you do some kind of deposit. Let's say $100 um, at uh, 10 a.m. And you withdraw uh, $50 at uh, 12 p.m. So now first uh, first entry is deposit $100 at 10 a.m. Second entry you did, you withdraw $50. So now your balance is $50, right? Um, and maybe let's say third transaction you did the same day. Uh, 
deposit uh, another fifty dollar. So again, the remaining balance fifty, and now again you deposit fifty dollar. So now again your day end of the day balance is hundred dollar. But all these transactions happen right uh, on front end. You deposit um, first entry, deposit you withdraw, and then deposit. So you have three entries in OLTP system. So banking, uh, when you go in branches, they put all the entry um, in your account, three entry per day. But in but when data moves from OLTP to all app, um, they don't need all the history. They need, uh, uh, I mean, here is partial history and this all three transition, they will keep maybe for three or six months if you want each transaction maybe they will keep three to six months depending on the company but in all app they will record this all transaction not all transition but the, the the main transition so so day one for example your total balance was hundred dollars that's it they will keep today's date and day one this is the transaction so so like like on maybe day two you did two transition but they will just enter let's say 150 is your final balance so that is the, uh, that is the amount you had for day two so they don't track all here in this case it should be three transition right because of OLTP that you did three transaction here you did two transition but here only one so here they do keep history but not the all transition related histories so that is the only difference here it is uh, kind of all transitional history but it is short term they don't keep the all history for for long time but in all app system they keep the right history for for life basically so even if you want 10 years uh, past data you you can get data from OLTP system which is nothing but data warehouse um, so this is the simple example. I hope you, you guys understand um, OLTP and all app. Again, OLTP is online transaction, transaction processing and all app is online analytic, analytic process. Thank you so much for watching video. Please do subscribe. Thank you. Bye.